Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So I finally got my package in from Shop Carlos. Uh, if you want to go check that website out, I'll leave the description or the link down below. Uh, let's get into it. This is I've already know what's in here minus one item because it's a mystery bait. I qualified for a mystery bait when I ordered. <coughs> so now, if you want to. Uh, get discounts on stuff you can join Carl's uh, and you get a discount on the baits and the prices uh, forget about the prices on this thing though because it doesn't tell me so first up I ordered a 10,000 fish death stalker Uh, I ordered this because I, I'm pretty sure this will work pretty good for ice fishing also and it works great in the spring for uh, walleye, pike, bass. Yeah, that's the first lure I ordered here. Uh, in the shop car, you save like $2 on that lure. Next up, we have a Carl's Amazing Baits. This is the Golden Boy. It's just a square bill crankbait. It goes from two to five feet. Uh, it's in Chattanooga Gill. Um, I like the color. It works well around here, so I figured I'd pick one up. Uh, you're going to see a, a repetitive theme to this uh, box of stuff that I ordered. Uh, but yeah, that's the Golden Boy. Right? Yeah, the Golden Boy. Another one from Shop Carl's. This should be the big boy. Yeah, the big boy. Another, it's just a, a big square bill. This one I got in. Highlighter, so it's just big chartreuse with the black back on it. Um. This one's a half ounce. So yeah, so I'm a big square bill guy. Like I, I, I toss, I can toss square bill all day long. Uh, and I choose to order colors that I like, but also baits that I haven't used before in colors that I know work to see how good they work. So uh, this one goes for that. This is a Yuzuri 3DB. This is a 1.5 size. Now, in my opinion, this is the closest I could find to the, uh, uh, uh what one is that? Lucky Craft Silent 1.5 in, in this, in this color range. So I have high expectations for this crankbait. Uh, the one that looks like it that I used to have that I lost at Deer Rock Lake. Oh yeah, this one's a natural bluegill, by the way. Um, I caught so many bass on this coloration in one year, like 110. I think that was in like a two month span. That's a, that's a lot of bass. But yeah, another square bow, square bow crankbait for my crankbait collection. And they will all get used, guaranteed. Uh, next up, I finally purchased a revolver. This is Guggen's, Guggen Squad's version of the Whopper Plopper. It's a little different. It's got the plopper thing here in the center instead of on the back. So I want I want to see how that works. They call this one the nightclub which is just black with chartreuse tip because um, I've heard some stories that the the center the plop gets stuck on the the, the sec first hook a lot so I wanna I wanna check that out and see how that goes and I like throwing top water anyway so alright so there's that uh, some rattling heads 
can't go wrong with this bait, okay? Ned Rig works great. It's a phenomenal bait. But then when you add a little rattle to that, damn, I'm telling you, fish just fall in love with it. Uh, the only thing I wish that Guggen baits were was better at was their plastics were a little stronger. Uh, but this will get them every time. You don't have to work that hard. Rattling Ned's the way to go. And the last bait I ordered was a Shikosi bug, or Shikosi bug, I think that's how you pronounce it, from 10,000 fish. Now, if this had a rattle in it, like the Guggen baits, this would be phenomenal because this works so good. Uh, and it lasts so much longer. Like, this is so much harder to tear than the Guggens. But, hey, can't complain. They both catch fish. Um, yeah, okay, so the Guggens I got in, what color was this? Yeah, Canadian Craw. And these. These are in green pumpkin. And the mystery bait. It's also from 10,000 Fish. This is called the Psycho, Psycho Bait. It's pretty much just a giant spinner bait. Look at the size of that willow blade on there. That is enormous. And the knuckles and the, the swivel are humongous. So this is a willow chatterbait, or cycle blade. Yeah, I know that. What color is this? And this is in bluegill color. Might be all right here in the spring when the pikes start biting. Actually, I, that's probably gonna, probably gonna get a lot of bites in the spring. But yeah, that's it for this episode of Duck Tuesday. Uh, I hope you enjoy this box. If you wanna see more boxes like this, you know, Go down, hit that little bell button to let you know when I upload a new video. There's going to be, at least it's a little open water, I know there's going to be an uh, unboxing every month of Mystery Tackle Box. So, uh, if you do me a favor, go down, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and uh, I'll catch you next time on Bradshaw's Outdoors. Catch you later.